guys. Um, I a couple of a couple of days ago, it was actually, I think it was Thursday. My mother and I decided to go and watch Peter Rabbit Two: The Runaway, and. I had to get one. This movie has all of the charm of the original. This was so worth the year, I repeat, year long wait. This was supposed to come out this time last year. But we had this whole pandemic. We've got all the characters that you're used to. So we have um, Peter Rabbit, Flopsy, Mopsy, Contel, um, Peter's cousin. It's got all the classic characters. And of course, Pete has to cause a lot of trouble. Um, this movie was actually made down here in Sydney, in Sydney actually. Um, even though it's supposed to be set over in London. And so it's really cool to see. Um, I think this is very much what I refer to as a family movie. Not a kid's movie, a family movie. This will appeal to people that love... Peter Rabbit as a character and people that sort of read the books growing up or even watched that um that TV series The Adventures of um Peter Rabbit because this is a little bit more of the characters from that um the basic story is um Rose Byrne's character has written a book about Peter and his escapades and she's in the process of writing her second book and she pretty much goes to London to try and a public uh, a publisher has come to her wanting to um wanting to publish her second novel and apparently they love it but some of the things uh and can I just say, hilarity ensues. This movie cr will crack you up, make you laugh your little gut off. I I thought it was absolutely hysterical. Um, worth the wait. The animation is really well done. Like you can really believe that Rose and um, Gleason. Um, Dominic were actually speaking with the, all of these characters. It didn't feel out of place, the animation. It felt like you could really believe that Peter and Gang were all part of this world. I've seen other movies. Perfect example, the new Tom and Jerry one. That is so you can tell the animation, the animated. It's an animated cat, an animated dog, and an animated everything. This one, you could almost believe that Peter is real. And I love that style of animation. When it's a, when it's a blend like this, that's animation mixed with live action, you really believe that you are seeing a rabbit, a horse, a donkey. You name it, you really believe that you are speaking with X, Y, or Z. I think this is a great legacy um, continuation of um, Beatrice Potter's creation. This is really feels like it's part of Beatrice's world, even though... This is not necessarily in Beatrice Potter's world, but it feels like a part of the world. I'm, if I'm making myself 
understand, please write down in the comment section below. I think this is a great, great way of bringing Peter and friends to the newer generation. Thoroughly enjoy myself. I will definitely be picking this up on Blu-ray. I had to get it in blue for my mother. So have you seen Peter Rabbit 2, The Runaways? Please write down in the comment section below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And hit the little bell icon so when I release another one of these movie reviews, you'll be the first one to hear about it. Now I shall see you in the next review. Ciao!